My father had two partners in, and they had started a business and he, ju he just wasn't happy. I remember him talking to my mother and him saying, you know, I want to go out on my own. And my mother, you know, encouraged him and the next thing you know, he started Romanelli Advertising. So my dad started the agency back in 1973. At one point he was a, in a one-room schoolhouse on Seneca Turnpike. I remember going over there and I think he had one client, you know, he was tucked in this tiny little room with probably the same art table that I use today in our office, which is kind of cool. And then he moved to our building here in Clinton and he was basically by himself in that studio and he did, he did everything. He was doing, you know, lots of little odd jobs, you know, almost like a freelancer and working with lots of companies. He was a one-man band back then. And then he was still doing his artwork at the time and would always be putting stuff up in old Ford shows and up at uh, Munson Williams, their street gallery that they do every year, and he would sell artwork there too. That's how he was kind of paying the bills. So, you know, how does a graphic designer, artist pay the bills? You sell your artwork and you design logos for people. <laughs> he started to grow and he eventually took over the first floor of the building. And it was a big deal because you had like the entrance and then you had the studio, <laughs> which, was, which was kind of funny because it said studio across the top, they printed it. You know, and that's the place I used to clean and pull all the little pieces of type off of a shag rug. You know, very 1970s having that shag rug still there. And then an opportunity came up. His landlord approached him and said, you know, he's going to sell the building. And he said, I, I just can't move again. He said to my mother, I, I think we should, you know, invest in the building. Which was, you know, a good move in hindsight because we ended up using the entire building practically just with the exception of a couple of little storefronts. So. He knew that he was going to expand, so he made sure that he had enough room for all his employees. I think we still have pictures of the spiral staircase coming in. We have this giant spiral staircase that you actually had to corkscrew into the front door of the building and up to get it to work into the big hole they cut in the floor upstairs. So it was quite an undertaking and still there today. And now we also have this third floor studio that was once the Helmuth Ingalls American Legion post. And we still have the piano that now serves as our conference room table up here. So this, this place has seen a lot. I even lived here, it was my apartment for a while when I first started working for my dad, so. Basically, buying the building really boosted Romanelli Communications because from there he just hired more people and got more clients and uh, here we are today.